Cubase is a ground control software by Quantum Systems, which assists the user in planning, monitoring and debriefing a mission. In this little video, we would like to show you how to plan a photogrammetry mission in Cubase. At the beginning, set the wind conditions. Get information about the wind direction and the wind speed online. In our case, the wind is coming from the northeast with a wind speed of approximately 2.5 meters per second. The relevant buttons for planning a mission are in the right section of Cubase. First, set the general mission settings in the mission template. Select your UAV. For our mission, we select the Trinity. Now set the time link loss timeout. If the Trinity loses the link to the transmitter, it returns to the link re-establishing waypoint after the selected time expired. At the link re-establishing waypoint, the Trinity circles for the time that is set in loiter time. If the link cannot be re-established within this time, the Trinity returns home. Adjust the flight speed and the flight attitude. Now select the payload. Three standard payload configurations are available. For our agricultural mission, we choose the agricultural payload compartment consisting of one ADC snap multispectral camera. The overlap settings depend on the selected payload. Next, either zoom to the location where you would like to perform your mission or select Pan 2 in the lower left corner and search for the city or the exact location. Today we will go to Gilching, Germany. The next step is to define the area of interest. Click Area Planning button and select Create New Area. Now edit the outside edges of the flight area. Confirm the area by selecting the check. If you wish, you can adjust the flight altitude, the direction of the legs or the distance between the legs. Furthermore, it is possible to extend the entry and the exit of the legs. By flipping, inverting or optimizing the leg sequence, the order of the legs can be changed. Open the mission info to see the size of the area in square kilometers. Click on the Generate Flight Plan button to create your mission. Now in the mission info, the length of the flight plan and the duration it takes to perform the mission is displayed. In the following flight planning menu, waypoints can be edited, added and deleted. First, add the home waypoint as it defines the takeoff and landing position. When the home waypoint is selected, the transition altitude, the transition direction and the angle of the transition cone can be adjusted. The yellow part indicates the transition cone. Within this area, the transition is performed. Make sure this area is free of obstacles. The transition should be performed against the wind direction. Now it is recommended to open the altitude profile and to check whether the desired flight altitude can be reached at the first waypoint of the area. In our case, the track between the home waypoint and the first waypoint of the area is too short. By inverting or flipping the legs, the track can be extended. We need to refresh the flight plan by clicking the Generate Flight Plan button again.
By checking the altitude profile again, we verify that the flight track was extended and that the flight altitude can be reached at the first waypoint for best image results. Now locate the retransition waypoint. This waypoint defines the location where the Trinity finishes the retransition. It should be located close to the home waypoint. Within the waypoint being selected, the retransition altitude, the retransition speed, and the direction of the retransition track and of the descent circle can be adjusted. Make sure that the descent circle, the retransition track, and the flight track between the retransition waypoint and the home waypoint are free of obstacles. If possible, set the direction of the retransition track against the wind direction. In a next step, it is possible to locate the link re-establishing waypoint. If this waypoint is not located, the descent circle of the retransition waypoint is used as the designated link re-establishing waypoint, which is fine for our use case. If you wish to adjust the waypoints individually, select the waypoint on the map. The waypoint type, the flight altitude, and the flight speed can be modified. By default, the waypoint settings are set in order to map the flight area properly. By opening the view settings, it is possible to display the more realistic simulated path which considers the wind direction and the wind speed. Also, the camera trigger positions can be shown. Select the mission info to obtain a final overview of the planned mission. In order to save the mission, select Save or Save As in the main menu of Cubase. That is all that is necessary to successfully plan a mission in Cubase. For further information and troubleshooting, please consult the user manual or contact your reseller. Thank you for watching.